Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Let's start this paper, June 2023. And variant, we have 53. So, so let's start. Two fair coins thrown in the question number one. And same time repeatedly until a fair, until. Whenever the word until come, most probably this is geometrical probability he talk about. Okay. So a pair of the heads obtain the number. It means two coins, two fair coins. And we talk about uh, a pair. I mean, two heads. A number of thrones, uh, number of thrones taken is uh, denoted by the X. So it means number of throne taken as a denoted by X. So I think one mark question, but before I start, I just show you the concept and then we can work out. Okay, look at here. Head tail. Head tail. Head tail. You know, fair coin, that is why half chance of head, half chance of tail. So everywhere half half because it's behave like a with replacement. Probability is constant. So when you talk about two heads, so chances of two head is 104. How I got it? Half into half, one by four. So it is very clear. So probability of two heads is very clear, is actually one oh, over four. So this part is clear. Now what he's talking about, he said the state E of X. And you know, we have a formula for geometrical probability of E of X uh, is formula is equals to one over P. Okay, so probability of favor, I'm favoring two heads, which answer is one by four. So if you plug in it here, so E of X is equals to one, one over four. Four will flip up and answer is coming four. So I believe the first part is very, very clear. Let's go for part number two. That exactly five throws are required to obtain a pair of heads. Again, my concern, P is 1 over 4 because my concern 2 head and that is behave as a 1 P. And Q is naturally 1 minus P, so 1 1 over 4. And so it means Q value is 3 over 4. And you know, he said for exactly 5 throws. Uh, so uh, we have a special formula of a geometrical probability. X is equal to R is equal to uh, Q to power R minus 1 into P. So this is a, what is R, like five throws exactly. So it means R is five here, R is five here. And Q is not favor, P is favor. So I think it's a matter of just typing in calculator. So it means P X is equals to five or uh, five. And uh, Q is what? Three over four to the power of five minus one. And P is one over four. So I plug in all values in this formula. And if you check it, the answer, let me type in calculator. So after typing in calculator, <clears throat> yes, it is coming 81 divided by 1024 or 0 0.0791. So I hope so. The point is very clear. And we got a fractional answer or a decimal. So no problem at all. So let's go for the next part. Okay, next part is asking here the probability fewer than seven throws are required to obtain a pair of heads. Again, my concern is pair of heads. So one over four in Q is three over four. Uh, and now we have a formula. Uh, before I start formula fewer than seven, if you make a number line system, inshallah, you'll understand because geometrical probability lowest value is not zero. Lowest value is one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just sake of understanding. He's saying uh, less than seven. It means fewer than seven. So my answer is seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all. But I don't need this. I don't need onwards. I don't need, okay? And we have a special formula for bigger. X value bigger than R is equals to Q to power R. There's a formula for the more than. So there's a very effective formula and it means, but how we can use this formula here? So look at now here, because uh, uh, all these values I'm looking for, can I say 
uh, I uh, can I say I find more than seven. How to pronounce these values? These are called more than seven. So more than seven, I call here. Uh, more than seven, uh, more than because he said that fewer than seven. Sorry, sorry, there's a fewer than seven. I should not even this cross also there. So fewer than seven means six and backwards. So can I say it means I can say that more than six, more than six. So our value is more than six. So more than six means more than six. So I'm writing here more than six. You see, because uh, the, the sum of the all probability is one. So one minus probability if X is more than six. I think you got the concept. So now I can uh, simply get the answer because for more we have a formula, okay? So I converted this question in more format. So here I'm using, so Q to power, is, is, uh, what is the Q? Three over four and power six. An answer is coming with me if we write in fraction form. So three, three, six, seven over four, zero, nine, six or 0 0.822, 0 0.822. Okay, so I believe you got a point how I got this answer because uh, he was he was saying uh, that I'm looking for this values or can I say I need six and less than six. Can I say more than six I don't need? Correct, and one minus more than six. So I hope so the point is very, very clear. And let's go for next question. Uh, Anil, his candidate in an election, he received 40% votes, okay, and a random sample of 120 votes total chosen. So approximate, uh, use approximation to find the probability that uh, approximation, whenever suitable approximation or normal approximation comes. So we will deal, uh, this is a, um, we have a special way. And what is method? We will find mean. Okay, and mean formula is NP. We will find deviation formula is NPQ root is a compulsory. Okay, so let's start. And probability if votes receiving is 40%. So P is what? So 40%. So 40% is dealing as a 40 by 100, or I can say 0 0.4. So P is 0 0.4 and Q is naturally one minus that, so 0 0.6. So N is what uh, voters of 120 have taken. So 120 sample and P is 0 0.4. If you multiply them 120 into 0.4, it gives us 48. So mu value, I mean mean value, I got it 48. Now I'm looking for deviation. Formula is very clear. N is 120, P value is 0.4 and Q value is 0.6. And if I if I type in calculator, I get here twenty eight point eight. Let me recheck once again. <clears throat> yes, it is it is actually uh, one twenty into point four into point six. One minute, please. And well, let me check again. Point four. This is a forty eight correct. Root of 120 into 0.4 into 0.6. This is giving me five point. Uh, this is deviation is coming not from this one. Is coming 5.3666. Okay. For more accuracy, I use this much value. Okay. Or I can take this even, no problem. And what is a suitable approximation? Okay. And uh, between in, and word inclusive. What this means? This means x value less than equal to 54 and bigger than equal to 36. The word include, inclusive came up from include, when include, so this equal sign must be there. Okay, uh, how we can start? This is deviation I have, mean I have. Okay, we have a special formula. And before I go that one, <clears throat> I draw a number line system. You know, this 36, this is a 54. One number bigger than 54 is 55 and smaller 53. And dot, dot, dot in the middle, here 37 and here 35. So when we have an equal sign comes naturally, normally he's asking this fill and he's saying this one. Okay, but whenever equal sign comes, so we will go 0.5 backwards. 
and from here 0.5 this way. So what is the 0.5? So 35.5 we talk about from here. So this statement we will change in this format. No more equal sign there. And this is called continuity correction and 35.5 and 54.5. I believe you got my point. And always we add and subtract 0.5 only. No other number in our whole A2 portion. So that is why 54.5. Okay, now I can go for uh, the formula. We give a special formula, X minus mean by deviation. So how we can apply, it is very clear. This will behave as a X mean is 48. Deviation is this, very clear. So 35.5 minus 48 divided by uh, 5.3 triple six. And this ultimately becomes Z now. 54.5 minus 48 over 5.3666. Okay, students. And if I type in calculator, uh, so 35.5 minus 48 and uh, divided by 5.3666, my first value is coming here with the negative 2.3 uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> because, and uh, yeah, it is becoming 2.9. Okay. And let me calculate the second one, 54.5 minus 48 divided by 5.3666. My answer is coming uh, is 1.211. Okay, clear. Now, students, we have a special formula whenever i just show you whenever one value is positive and one value is negative and we're looking for the middle number so what is what technique uh phi both numbers we added a uh, phi of a plus phi of b and without negative sign make sure okay and minus one there's a formula i repeat again uh, this is okay i can apply this technique on top now so whenever this kind of question comes, so one value positive, 1.211, and one negative, negative 2.329, and we're looking for the middle area. So what is technique? Phi of both values, 1.211 plus phi of 2.329, and then minus one. I think you got the point of what I'm saying. Okay, now this value is, um, I believe you know how to take a table, but still once I show you, uh, okay, once I show you and second time, uh, I, you are familiar with this technique. Okay, the first number I was looking for phi of 1.211. So how to get this number? <clears throat> so 1.2, so 1.2 is here, I, this line I talk about. So 1.2 is here, and this is done, and now 1. 1 is this, go down, and this number we are looking for, and this 1 come from here, and go down, so 2 I'm looking for. So 0 0.8869 and 2, if you add them, 0 0.886, sorry, 71. So I think you got my point, and same way I will uh, find directly, and I believe you know it how to do it. So it is coming 0 0.8871, and this answer is coming uh, 0 0.2329, so 0 0.99, we have it, and minus 1. And if we uh, type in calculator, 0 0.8771, because it is almost equal to each other, when they cancel out, and ultimate answer, double eight, uh, sorry, um, uh, if, it, if I type in calculator, yeah, there's a difference. So 8771 or 3SF is 877 is our final answer. And I believe the point is very clear. <clears throat> Let's go for next question. Uh, he's saying that X takes this values given that we have this formula given for this kind of thing. Okay. And uh, best technique, uh, although maybe he can ask table later on, but I can make table in the beginning even, no issue. So probability, this is X, so probability of X is equals to, so let's see. So we know X values are one, two, three, four. So if I take it one, if I take it two, and if I take it three and four, 
one, two, three, four. If I plug in one in this each x, you see, if I plug in each, for example, one here, one here, one each x to place. So x is equals to one equal to, I just show once, a times to one and one plus a. So this he talk about. So I got a k and a, this is becoming uh, one plus a. So k times two, one plus a. If I plug in two here and two here, I get a 2k times 2, 2 plus a. If I plug in 3 in the place of each x, so 3k times 2, 3 plus a. If I plug in 4, so 4k and into 4 plus a. I think this part is clear. But he said what formula? He said p of x is equal to 4 is equal to 3 times 2 p of x is equal to 2. So I think very simple approach, four means this, he talk about two means this. So it may talk about this whole thing will come here and this whole thing will come here. It's that simple. So four K times two, four plus A equal to three times two, two K times two, two plus A. And this, uh, this K and K cancel out, even this two K cancel and we get a two here. And we get a two times two, four plus A and equal to three times two, two plus a. So just simply two fours are eight, two a equal to six plus three a. So this two a goes there, subtract six come on this side, and you know it very well. So this out of six is gone, so a value is two. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, he was asking for a and k value. And you know, these are probabilities, some of the all probabilities, you know, is equal to one. So I will just say them, add them all equals to one. But I put this J A value two here. Two plus one, three. So this is three K. So three K come from here. I pull it two here. Two plus two, four. Four twos are eight. I get an eight K from here. I put this two here. Two plus three, five. Five threes are fifteen. I get a fifteen K from here. I put two here. Two plus four, six. Six fours are twenty-four, and twenty-four K is equals to one. And you know this is a. Uh, 24, 24 plus 8, 32, 32K comes from here, 15 plus 3, 18. If I add them both, we got a 50K. So 50K is equal to 1, and K, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I believe you got my point. Over. Part number next, he said, draw up the probability distribution table, which we done before, giving the probabilities numerical fractions. Numerical fractions. Okay. So we have to answer numerical fractions, okay? Uh, I will, fractions means numerical parts, okay? So I will copy paste the whole table, whole table, I will copy paste there and copy, although I have done it already there, but I have to plug in the numbers, okay? So how to plug in the numbers? So simply K value is one over 50 and A value is, you know, two. So just type in calculator. So I'm writing one divided by 50 into uh, three. So I'm getting here, okay, I'm erasing this one. So I'm putting two and this is two. So three over 50 is my answer. Okay, let's talk about a second one. I'm putting here one of 50, here two. So two plus two, four to the eight. So eight divided by 50. I can say here, uh, yeah, I got eight divided by 50. Okay, now put it here, 150, you know, it's 150 and here 2. So 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 15, so 15 out divided by 50. <clears throat> okay, let's talk about here. Here I put 150 like this and here 2, so 6, 6, 4 is a 24, so 24 out of 50. And how to confirm it? If you up add the upper parts, we must get 50 because it's 50 by 51. And if I type 3 plus 8 plus 15 plus 24, yes, yeah, true. The sum of the all value is coming 1. So, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, the point is clear. And then he asking about the E of X is that this is called expected value or is called mean. And he asking for the variance. We have a special formula of the variance. And what the variance formula, let me write for you. Formula is E X square minus E of X whole square. 
repeat. So this is uh, how to read this one, square of. So each number square and multiply plus square of two and multiply plus square of three and multiply plus square of four and multiply and add them all. So let's try to solve it. So one to power two into three over 15 plus two to power two into eight over 50 plus uh, three to power two into 15 over 50 plus four to power two into 24 over 50. Okay, I have done all and minus mean square, which is given by him is 3.2. So if I type in calculator, okay, so if I type in calculator, so I'm going to type it and let's see what answer come in fraction form. So variance. So answer is coming finally, if you check it. So this answer is coming with me 277 over 25. Whereas this 3.2 whole square. And now if I type this in calculator, so let's see what answer comes for final answer of the variance. So variance one answer. So let's see what answer comes finally. <clears throat> the final answer is come in fraction form as 21 over 25. 21 over 25. So I hope so clear. Let's go for the next number four question. Uh, what a question is, um, I'm taking minutes to complete a cycle race of 19 cyclists of the two clubs, okay, Cheetahs and Panthers. Okay. And back-to-back uh, -back stem leaf diagram is given. All right. And we have given this minute. So this is cyclist, 19 cyclists, and their time to uh, time to complete the race. Okay. So he's asking find the median and interquartile of the cheat. So left side we have to go for. Okay, this one. So median. What is the median formula, students? So median formula is basically is n plus one divided by two, and n is we have nineteen cyclists. So nineteen plus one twenty divided by two. I got a tenth. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is my answer nine and nine. So you know the key is what nine. So this ninety nine. So it means I got ninety nine, ninety nine minutes. Okay. That's it. Uh, 99 minutes. Yeah, is exactly correct. So let's talk about the interquartile range. So upper quartile. What is upper quartile formula? 3 times 2 n plus 1 divided by 4. And 3 times 2 19 plus 1 20. 20 by 4 is 5. 5 is a 15. So 15. 15 term. Uh, so you know uh, this 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is number 106 minutes. So let's talk about the lower quartile. Lower quartile is a one fourth of n plus 1. Okay, one fourth of a 19 plus 1, 20 by 4 is a 5. So fifth term I'm looking for. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it is coming 83 minutes. And what is IQ interquartile is subtracting them. So when you subtract 100 and this is becoming 23. So 23 is the interquartile range which we got just now. <clears throat> so I think this part is clear. Let's go for next part. He's saying here the median and interquartile range for Panther. Panthers, he found himself and he got it. So I have to do a small comparison and you can see this one, or I can do this favor. This, I bring it. I think I should no need the whole thing, only the two things. So mean is, median is what? Median is 99. Um, all right, both. Here, so C, C and this P. So median for this is 99. Okay, here median is 103. Panther is 103 median. Intercortile is here, 23. But intercortile is here, 14 minutes. You see, there's intercortile. So we this is upper is a median, and here IQ. So we have both values, okay? All right, so let's see what he's saying here. So make do comparison between time taken by the cheetahs and time taken by the panthers. So naturally, you, you know, it very well, 
uh, time less time taken median median is a smaller time is 99 for the cheetahs which is lesser so they're faster you can see that so um, the comparison number one so it means um, cyclist of the of cheetah club okay you can see that yeah cycle okay so he talk about um, yeah so so you can say that Okay, cyclists of Cheetah's Club are faster. Okay, because we check the average, okay? So because median is, is, is smaller, smaller median, so it's faster than, than Panthers. So this is a rule, this is a number one. Second number, so interquartile range is a, uh, you can say is a bigger for the panther is a bigger, sorry, interquartile range for the uh, cheetah is bigger, panther is a smaller, okay? So it's called less spreads, but, you know, more interquartile, you see that more interquartile, uh, it means uh, it, it interquartile is more, spread is more. So you can see that spread, uh, spread for the, For cheetah club is more. Okay, so we can say that is in so uh, more and uh, more due to the bigger due to the due to the interquartile range. Okay, so we can say that and one more interesting part. Interquartile more less consistent, so we can say that as spread for the cheetahs is um more, so uh, cheetahs club are less consistent. Um, cyclists are more less consistent, consistent t a n t, okay. So less consistent because more interquartile, less consistency is there. So this is another the rule is there. Two uh, the points are there. I mentioned another cyclist can okay uh, from uh, Chita also take and take part in the race uh, and time and mean time for the twenty cyclists is this one. For your knowledge, we have about nineteen. Uh, cyclists already here we have it okay so when we have this kind of thing and we need to find for the canny uh, how to complete a time so how we can find it we have a special formula you know mean formula what we have normal formula we mean is uh, sum of the values by number of values sum of the values by number of values if i multiply this on this side so we can say mean multiply by number of values so so sum of the 20 values the sum of the 20 values is what mean into mean of the 20 values times two values 20 values okay values and mean of 20 values according to statement is 99 Okay, so 99 is the end values are 20. So if you multiply into that 99 into 20, 99 into 20 is giving 191980 minutes. So it means the all uh, total time for the all um, 20 values is a one. Nine. But I want to find out a sum of the 19, sum of the 19 also. And you know, a twentieth person is Kenny, so I will subtract them and get the answer. But how do you get a sum of the all nineteens? A little, uh, little lengthy. I will just add them. So seven eight means seventy eight. So I'm just adding on the top. Seventy eight. This seventy eight come from here. Seven nine means seventy nine. Seventy eight seventy nine. Uh, and then I'll go for eight zero. So it's a little tough anyway. Eighty and eighty two then 83, then 87, then 88. Okay, then 97, then 98, then 99. Okay, and after that, uh, and okay, then I'm adding further. Um, 101, you know it very well what I'm doing, 101. 
103, 103 once again, 105, 106. Then I got it next one, 112, 118, 119, and 124. So we have to add them all, okay? Some of the all value, if you add it, okay? And let's see what else comes together. So hold on, I have to shift it down. And okay, this is a sum of all values. If you add them, cut from here and I paste in there. So this is value, these are values and sum is coming what? Um, I shift this is down. So what is sum coming of all values? So some values of all coming here with me is one eight six two. So you know this is a twenty. It is a nineteenth value this time, and the twenty value is this one. So if I, for example, this is a twenty, and this is a nineteen, how much difference coming? That is a difference. We can subtract them and get the twentieth person. The so it means uh, if I subtract, so I can say that time for Kenny. To complete the race is 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 one nine eight zero minus one eight six two, and he has taken one hundred and eighteen minutes. I believe the point is very clear, and let's go for uh, next part. That is why three marks for the extra work only. Anyway, come back for question number five. Jasmine throws two ordinary fair six sided uh, dice at the same time and noted the numbers on the uppermost faces. The events A and B defined as some of the numbers uh, six. So we have to sum and difference, so A and B. And now what I will do, uh, this kind of question, I always do this way to, okay. So best technique, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six. Here I make it one here, two here, three here, four, five, and wait a minute, some space less, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, uh, so let's see how we can make it. <clears throat> this is a dice number A, this is a event number A. Uh, not A even, sorry. Uh, this is a dice because two dice. So dice number, this is a first dice. This is a second dice. Okay, so let's try to solve it. And he said that prove independent or not. So what I will do, I will uh, drag slightly right side. Okay, so what is the first, the sum. So let I, I'm writing sum in the numerator and difference in denominator. I, or I can write any one way, okay. So let's try. <clears throat> okay, so this kind of uh, things, I uh, have to write it, copy, paste, here. Oh, oh wait a minute. Okay, so I believe you're understanding what I am doing here. Okay, now I'm writing it now here. So what is upper part sum, sum, okay? Sum is what? One plus one is two. And what is here? Two and one, sum is three. And three plus one is four. Four plus one is five, then six, then seven. Okay, one plus two is three. 2 plus 2 is 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8. 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And now I'm writing 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I think idea is clear. And down I'm writing differences. So what is one and one difference is zero. 
one and two difference is one, three and one difference is two. Differences I'm writing through three, four, and five. And what difference between two and one is one and two and two is zero. And there's one, two, three, four. And I think, okay, there's two, this is a one, there's a zero, again, one, two, and three. Okay, again, we have a, this is a three, two, one, zero, one, and two. So what is the difference of five and one, four, then three, then two, one, zero? And I'm writing here one. Now difference is as five, then four, three, two, one, and zero. I think all points clear. And we have to write now uh, probability of A event. A event is what sum uh, is a less than six. So I will put a green circles or a black circles, a less than six. So sum is two numbers less than six. L sum is less than six, less than six, less than six, less than six. This is not less than six. So I am putting a circles less than six. I think you're understanding what I'm doing, less than six. So I think all points are clear. And if I ask me what is the answer for it, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine all over 36. Hold on, let me recheck. Uh, <clears throat> he said uh, less than uh, two numbers. Some of the two numbers is less than six. Count once again, four from here, four, three, seven, seven, three, ten. Sorry, there's a 10, not a nine. So there's a 10 over 36. What is the B event? B event is very clear. Difference between two numbers is at most two, at most called maximum two, maximum two. So I put a black, I pick a now a red color and maximum two. So maximum two, uh, um, difference is maximum two uh, or, okay, it means I put a, a black color, red color boxes. Okay, red color, maximum two, maximum two, at most two is called maximum two. So maximum two, I believe you're understanding what is going on, maximum two. So this is maximum two. Here is also maximum two, this is a maximum two, this is a maximum two, this is a maximum two. Okay, I have to check it. So I think in understanding maximum two, the difference is coming maximum two, okay? Once again, review the difference between two numbers maximum two. So just review once again, so you can understand what he talk about maximum two. So I am putting the boxes around maximum two. Two and less than two, this is a story. Okay, <clears throat> so let me count it now. So count the red boxes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So it's coming 24, so 24 over 36. Now I talk about A intersection B together. It means together, look at how, make it a, a green color circles which are together. Together means this is when it's happening together. One, two, three, four, no, sorry, not four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let me check. As further we have eight, we are getting eight here. Yeah. And no further, nothing common. Here only red, but no black, so eight. So we are getting eight out of 36. And what are the formula students? Probability of A intersection B must be equal to probability of A times two probability of B. So this answer I'm getting from here, eight out of 36. This answer I'm getting from here, 10 over 36. And this answer I'm getting from here, 24 over 36. If it have been calculated, they are not equal, so not independent. Not independent. I believe you got a whole concept clear. And these green circles helped us. So green circles, I'm just going to erase maybe for the next part, maybe I don't need this green circle. So rest part, maybe I need next parts, okay? This is a clear. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Next part. <clears throat> What's next part, students? He's asking for uh, this, well, this is conditional probability, you know, basic formula, what I'm writing it here. For example, C over C slash D. 
So it means the probability goes directly in denominator and upper C intersection D comes up, okay? Common between them. So same formula I'm writing here. So probability B slash A complement means in the, in the denominator, A complement, and the numerator B intersection A complement. And for your knowledge, complement is what is technique of complement? Complement means one minus probability of A. This is called complement, okay? So I'm going to find it. These are nothing hard. The denominator is nothing hard. So probability of A is 10 over 36, one minus 10 over 36. So upper part, I need to calculate that's a little bit complicated. So let's go for the upper part. <clears throat> How to read it? So we have to go against A, A complement. He said less than six. He said less than six, okay? I will not count those which are not less than. So it means we will take, uh, mm -mm -mm. We will take uh, these, uh, you know, these black circles. I will not take black circles. I will not take, but I will take black circles. Okay. And, but I will take the, because he said B and that. B and A complement. So I will take both in which, in which we have a, um, uh, look, for example, I tell you. <clears throat> this I can't take because B, even B is not there. Okay. This is A complement. But look at here, this is A complement and B also there. I will put a, okay, I make a green circle now here. This I will count. Okay, I mean all red boxes, which are built bottom red boxes, but I will take red boxes, but without black circles. So look, red box without black circle. Uh, red box without black circle. Red box, red box, red box, red box without black circle. I will take all. Okay, I hope so you got my point. Okay, I will take all these values. Uh, and anything else? I think so, over. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, I count again <coughs> from start. Because chance of mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 is coming here, 16 over 36. And I believe it's clear. So 16 over 36 come from here. This is a 26 over 36 come from this cancel out. 16 over 26 and 16 divided by 26 in fraction form, eight by 13. So eight by 13 is our answer finally. <clears throat> and I believe the concept is very clear. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Let's go for the next question. The mass of the grapes sold per day per in a by a large shop can be modeled normal distribution. And the mean is given 28. So mean is given 28. 10% of the uh, on the 10% of the day, less than 16 kilograms are sold. Okay. So it means how to write it. So mass less than 16 kilogram or 10%. Okay, technically, percentage is called probability. So I can 10 by 100, so 0 0.1 or 0 0.1 triple zeros. They are the same thing. Okay. <clears throat> How to write it now, students? So you know it very well. We have a formula. Uh, this is not normal format. We have to convert normal format. Here I get a Z formula 16 minus mean over deviation. You know this formula. Deviation is unknown, so we are going to find it. And here I plug in 28 comes there, 60 minus 28 over deviation. Okay. And uh, 8, 28 minus 16 is 8 coming. So, uh, sorry, 28 minus 16 is 12. So, probability of Z is less than negative 12. <clears throat> over deviation is 0 0.1. And now you see. Uh, because if I take a negative recording, we can see that negative 12 by sigma. And how do you read lesser? So if I draw a number, lesser is left side. This is more. So lesser is lesser. This part is looking for. And you know that this negative value is not in the probability distribution table. So this same number, I make it in positive section without negative sign because, you know, this is a symmetrical diagram. So what is the value here? Same value. So this area and this area, same. So I'm drawing this area. And how to get this one? You know it very well. This white region, we can get it by phi of 12 by sigma. 
but I need not white part. So phi of phi of 12 by sigma will get a white region, but I need a bluish, the reddish region. So full area is one and from one subtract this one. So one minus that, and I believe you got the point. And now this will go there and this will come this side. So it means phi of 12 by sigma is actually 0 0.9. And this is a probability, you can see it here. We can 0 0.9 search from here, or we have a shortcut technique available. 0 0.9 probability is 1.282, 1 1.282, 1 1.282. So I am, I'm saying here, this is okay. And here is 0 0.282, 282. Five, five cancel, 12 by sigma equal to 1.282 and multiply, cross multiply, Ultimately, I got a 9.36 after in calculator. I hope so the point is very, very clear. Let's talk about the next part. He's saying here, the mass of grapes sold on any day is independent of the mass sold another day. It means no connection between each other. So now it means the mean, this is a mean for the fun particular day only. So we it has changed now. And he says, one. Uh, what it says further, 12 days are chosen at random. Uh, when he said the independent, so it is a making a ground for the formula of the binomial probability. What is the binomial probability formula? NCR, Q2 power N minus R, P2 power R. Because this formula is applicable only when the probability is independent. So make sure that is why he said the independent concept. And uh, <clears throat> 12 days, so sample is taken as a 12 days. And he said that. Um, less than 16. So less than 16, we have already, you know, it less than 16 is 10 percent or less than 16 is 0. Point. So probability of favor is 0. 0.1. Probability of not favor 1 minus 0. 0.1 will give us 0. 0.9. And now he talk about uh, sold on more than two, more than two, uh, sorry, uh, grapes are sold on, on more than two. So if I talk about more than two, so student, it means zero because binomial we must count zero, zero, one, two, three, till what? Till 12. So he said more than two. So more than two means three, four onwards, I need all. So why I calculate so many values? So why I not, this I don't need. So why not sum of the all is one and from one subtract R is equal to zero plus R is equal to one plus R is equal to two. I believe you got the idea. So now apply the formula. Make sure this R is 0 here. N is 12 will go there. PQ is very clear. So let's apply one by one. So 12 C0, two brackets. Then 12 C1, two brackets. Then 12 C2 and two brackets we have. So I think clear. So 12 C0 means difference of 12 minus 0 and here 0. 12 minus 1, here 1, here 12 minus 2, here 2. So Q value is coming first each bracket. 0. 0.9 here, 0. 0.9 here, 0. 0.9 here. And the uh, P is 0. 0.1, 0. 0.1, and 0. 0.1. And I believe the point is very clear. <clears throat> and now I'm typing in calculator. So let's see what answer comes. Just a minute. I am typing in calculator. Is lengthy working? But anyway... And you should not waste time in typing 12C0. This is a 1 and something to power 0 is 1. And even 12C, even, um, uh, and 12C1 is 12 because when the, the what the number up, this one down is always this one answer, same answer, the number on above, C. So if we type this in calculator, <clears throat> just a minute, I'm typing. And the answer is I'm getting here, final answer. I'm saving my time. So 0. 111. One, one. Okay, I hope so. The point is clear after subtracting from one. Okay, final answer. So let's go for the next question. In random sample 365 days, it means sample is given 365 days. This time, uh, how many days you expect? So what is the expected value? Whenever expected value comes, so E equals to NP. This is a formula. Expected value number of this is a number of days is a piece of probability of favor. But he said what the grapes sold with be within 1.3 deviation of the mean. Very interesting. This is a mean, for example, or I make it uh, okay. Make this this two options. This is a mean value one uh, mean value, and from mean how much more how much less. 
uh, uh, 1.3 deviation. So 1.3 times to deviation more, okay, and, and less also, same. So mu minus 1.3 deviation and mu plus. So if you draw a bell shape, and I think you're understanding better than before, this is a mu, and this number is called mu plus 1.3 times to deviation, and this is mu minus 1.3 times to he said that 1.3 uh, deviations, it means time actually. So this area we are looking for, and I believe you got a point clear. How we can do this one now? <clears throat> so probability x, uh, I'm writing x less than mu plus 1.3 deviation and bigger than 1.3 mu minus, minus 1.3 deviation. So this is a whole story. How we can do it uh, and uh, so you know it formula for the formula uh, i'm writing here x minus mean over deviation this full is called x value okay so let me write x value minus mean by deviation and this x will convert into z form so me this value i'm writing minus mean and mean is mu deviation is this one so mean this cancel this cancel ultimately sigma cancel later on and here I get negative 1.3 and here I got a positive 1.3. So it means the situation turned to be this format, one value here and one value here. And I just taught you in the previous question that whenever one value positive and one value negative in the middle we're looking for. So phi of both values without minus sign, add them and minus one. So this is a formula. So what I say there, phi of 1.3 from here, plus phi of 1.3 from there, but without minus and minus one. So two times two phi of 1.3 minus one. And if I see that this value from the table, uh, phi of uh, 1.3, that's it very simple, 1.3 and 1.3 and zero. So 0 0.9032, because 1.3 means 1.30 actually. So 0 0.932, uh, 0 point, uh, I repeat again, 0 point, Mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> 0 0.9032. 0 0.32. Okay. Now I'm typing in calculator time time two, two time two point nine zero uh three two and minus one. An answer is coming with me is zero point zero point. This is a probability value students for you. I just tell you one thing, this is a value of the probability. Okay, and probability value is 0 0.8064, but I need expected value. So formula NP, N is 365 into 0 0.8064. If I multiply this is coming 294 point something, but I will take exact numbers. So days are 294. And I believe the point is clear. So let's go for <clears throat> next question. And last question of the, of the paper, uh, the fine number of the different arrangements. Okay, arrangement. Okay, per, when the word arrangement comes, is permutation. Okay, permutation. So NPR, make sure. And you know very well if the upper number and the lower number same, like at NPN, so we can write N factorial. So if, for example, 6P6, we can write 6 factorial. Both are same meanings, okay? But if these numbers are different, we can't write them. Let's have a look now. He said, what? Uh, 10 letters, 10 words, we have Casablanca. So how many Cs are there? It's two Cs. These kind of questions, you must write how many Cs are there. Two Cs are there. How many A's? One, two, three, four. Four A's we have. And what other letters left behind? Uh, S left, B left, L left, N. So I'm writing all S, B, L, N. So there are four letters, four plus four, eight to 10. So 10 letters, correct. So this is a whole story. <clears throat> he said in which that uh, two C's are not together. So what is the, this box method is the very best method to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine lines, 10 boxes, you can see. Okay, uh, not hard at all to understand. Okay, so let's start. He said uh, two C are not together, but I do go reverse. I go reverse. If for example, two C are together. 
and I make a block box here, blocks here. I will deal this one as a one element, okay? So counting this is a one, this is two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like I'm dealing nine elements, okay? Nine numbers. And uh, and so what is the method to get this answer? So nine P nine. So this is the answer when together, when they are together, when they are together, okay? So nine P nine. 9p9 or 9 factorial, same thing, okay? Okay, I'm writing both answers. So 9p9, uh, 9p9 is means that when you go together, but four A's are repeating, so 4p4. Let me tell you, whenever repeating letters are there, we have divide, okay? Uh, just example, for example, you have a like A, B, C, so 3p3 answer only, nothing to do, but A, B, B, so 3p3 divided by 2p2y because this two letters are repeating. If a, 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 so 3p3 divided by 3p3y, 3 because 3 repeating other letters are repeating. So I think you got a point. This is why I divided here because there are, uh, these fours are dividing, okay? You can ask me why not such c? Because how we can differentiate between c, this c, that which c is before, which c is after. So this together. And now let's talk about not together. So not together. And how to get not together? So from total options minus this one. So this will come here, nine factorial or four factorial, I will subtract. But from from where? From uh, total results, if, they, if I will not count it together, I will deal normal. Normal numbers, what? 10 P 10 or 10 factorial divided by two C's and four, four, uh, four A's. So two factorial into four, four factorial. This is when the all options, these are total options. This is called total options. So if I type in calculator, <clears throat> so let's see what answer comes. We type in this calculator. Uh, it's coming 60480, 60480. And I believe the point is very clear. Uh, find them different number of arrangement, the 10 letters of the Casablanca, uh, Casablanca, which have uh, at a, a at a beginning and A at an end. One A at a beginning, one A at an end, exactly three letters between them, between two Cs. So, you know, student, this is a technique. This is a question. Uh, I make it again here for you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay. Now you know, <clears throat> and keep your eye. This data is very important. So I copy and paste. Copy, and I paste here because I need this regular basis. Okay, come back. So now he said that two A is one A start, one A end. They are block. This is called blocking. You see, I put a shader here, blocking. So he said one, okay. Now he said that two C's, so one C and three, exactly three letters. So C here and C here and one cross, one cross, one cross. So I will make this as a one block. Okay, I will deal is as a one block. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> or I can tell you, uh, for sake of you and proper understanding, I can show you this copy. Paste here down. And again, I copy. And paste down. So you see, they have a four option. You can, how, how you know four options, sir? Because if this whole uh, group shift right side, one right side, Look, I show you. I just, inshallah, I believe you will understand. Okay. So if C come here, cross, 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 C here. If C come here, cross, 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 C here. If C come here, cross, 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 C. So it means I show you blue box. Uh, blue box. This block come, come here. Okay. And it can come here now. Next situation. And next situation, it can come here. And last situation, it can come here. So I think idea is very, very clear. <clears throat> now I can write it. How to write an answer now? This is very important to know. And I can see here, uh, because, uh, you know, this is a two, this two out of four A's, two A's are gone. Two A's left behind? Okay, two A's left behind. And it's four letters from, number letters were left from here. Okay, because make sure this is a C gone. So it means uh, because there's total six. So so six letters are there total. 
and six letters are there total. And I'm writing here for one answer. So six P6 or six factorial, same thing divided by because this 2A is repeating, this is a 2P2 or 2 factorial. But this is answer for this part only. And same answer for this part, same answer for this part, same answer for this part. You write it, add them four times or into four. Okay. And that's it. Alhamdulillah, I believe you got a point. What I, why, why I have done so? So you can understand the concept and answer is coming with me finally 1440. So I hope so. This part is clear and you got a clear picture. So let's go for the next part. Five letters are selected from 10 letters. So selection is called combinations. Okay. Again, I will make it here. This, uh, this top data is very, very important. I will take it copy and because without it, we cannot do the question easily. So this is data we have. He says what here, the number of letters in which the five letters are including two A's and at most C. At least two A's means, uh, it means two A's or maybe three A's or maybe four A's. And what is at most, um, most one C? It means zero C or one C. So we have uh, two options we have. <clears throat> so let's start. So we have the selection of five. One, two, three, four, five. I make this copy, uh, okay, copy and make it paste here. And the same I copy, <clears throat> paste here. Okay, let's see how, how we can do it. So let's think about it, uh, how we can do it. Uh, the, he said that uh, five like, different, um, okay, five uh, and the two, uh, at least two A's, okay? So let's say I have A and I have A, okay? And uh, two A's, well, I, I'm planning with two A with zeros, zero uh, with the, well, zero C, okay? Two A's, it can be three A's, it can be four A's. I think, okay. Yeah, two is at least, three is and four. So we don't have another option. Okay, so we have this one option only. Okay, now what is the situation we have? It means no C is there, no C. I, no, I'm not taking any C, I mean zero C, right? This data, I'm going for zero C, zero C. I mean C is not there, C is not there, C gone, C gone, okay? And um, so, so from this four letter, I need three places. So four C three, okay. Uh, because this I this uh, this C I will not take it. And out of four, four two is taken. Rest two I will not take it. And from these four letters, I need three letters because three places. And four C two and four C one. I believe this point is very clear. Same story. I will make it copy and paste copy and paste, but this time I talk about uh, not zero C, so at least one C, okay? One C, one C is there, one C is there, and one C is there. So naturally, if one C is there, what happens then, students? So naturally, I use one C, so two things left only from four, so four C two, four C one, four C zero, and I believe you got my point, why I'm writing this four C one, four C two, and four, because spaces, it depends upon these two places available, spaces and out of four, I will take two. One space, so 4C1, and then 4C0. And now if I add them all, let's see what I add. 4C3 is uh, actually, uh, 4C3 is a four, 4C2 is a six, 4C1 is a four, again, 4C2 is a six, 4C1 is a four and one. If I count them, let me check 10 plus 10, 20 plus five, 25. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I think you got a point very clear how I got this question. So a lot of work to be done, to, we have to do like this. If we do, if we make a question simpler, you can do uh, in this way, so we can get the answer easily. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I think question paper is over. So pray for me and, and do more hard work for the coming exam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.